welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An AOS matchup on the show. It's the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Corey Seager. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about to get underway. And on the hill today, Dane Dunning. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the Leading strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to the be able to command eight. all those pitches, Jose but if he can, Jose. he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. The pitch. Jose Altuve in now. Takes ball one off the plate. That Three one off. in there across the letters. One ball, one strike. Altuve swings and connects. Deep to left. Carter going back. Gone. He wastes no time on this one. And the Astros jump in front. It's 1-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Pitch oh. misses. 1-0. Oh. For whatever oh. reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. The pitch. That one oh. close, rule the ball. Now 2-0. Oh. The big bat's coming up and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. And he deals. That oh. one misses, and it's 3-0. Oh. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right-hander status. Well, that ball came back and got him pretty good in the chest. As the catcher checks on him, looks like he might be okay, though, Chris. Yeah, I'm sure that stunned him more than anything, Boog. Always scary when we see comebackers like that, but I think it might just turn into a big, nasty bruise. Here's Kyle Tucker. First pitch misses. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Alvarez on at first. Nobody out. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. And a one-two. This to center field. Jankowski has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. That is good. The perfect of the now we check out the Astros lineup. Batting second, a really important guy for them. You're Don Alvarez. Well, these days, we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort in, on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. Whoa. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. 
Alex Bregman in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Slapped foul. And a pitch. Double play ball to second. Simeon. Off balance That's speed. There's one. Over to first. Safe. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it. But he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Yainer Diaz. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, no. however, give him a little bit more One trouble. Ball. No strike. Dunning, 29 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2016. Two outs. Close, no. but called a ball. And the count is 2-0. Ground ball left That's side, up. and it goes just foul. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but they get the out of first, and that'll do it for the end. Astros not your run on the solo homer. It's now a one nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. And on the hill, J.P. France. What do we need to know here? Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. Here's the veteran second baseman, go. Marcus the Simeon. The second baseman. Who, how Mark good was Marcus Simeon in 2023? Yeah. Named a finalist for the MVP award in the American League after producing a season with 100 RBIs and 826 OPS and 29 home runs. On top of all that, his Rangers won the World Series. Swing and a miss. Top of the order, speedster. You'd really like to see him work his way on. He can get around the bases in a hurry, but a little too aggressive, maybe a little anxious. Hawaii to kick the pitch. Stays alive. One, two now. Yeah, there's a the ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated oh, with how long it takes to put him away. That one What's misses, so a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight Here pitches and leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat on the show. Now it's Corey Seager. Over to Altuve. Back to first, and that is a double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Now, here is Wyatt Lankford. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And that's outside. And the count is one and one. Two outs, space is empty. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, number 28. And 
with a right hander back to work. There's a strike. The wind of the pitch. Ball. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. And a pitch. Got him looking. And he didn't like the call. And the batter now, Chaz McCormick. Chaz McCormick. Ball one misses. And that is ball one. One down, base is empty. Now it catches the corner for a strike. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Next pitch is outside. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Inside just missed. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Tags and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. So two down now, and here is Jeremy Pena. And that one moves his feet. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. Two outs. And it's fouled away. Comes a 2-2. Good plate appearance Go there. Throw. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very the aggressive center. secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive uh -huh. side of it. Jake Myers stands in now and watches strike one. Pena leads off first with two down to the inning. Strike two. Okay. Outside. Foul ball still a one and two count. Here comes a pitch. Ball. And another ball. Two ball. Two strike. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that's a base hit. Around second is Pena. The relay throw. And he's out. Knocked down and that ends the inning. One left for Houston. They lead it 1-0.
Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. France back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Outside corner, there's a strike. No. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and one. And that's ball. outside. One strike. And it's that's ball, ball four. He missed base. down low. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Way to go. Now the left field. fielder, Evan oh, Carter. Oh, we talked about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's no, his friend, he'll through. give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Jared Walsh now at the plate. France picks the first. And he's back in standing. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure oh. that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score a ball in the gap. Left-hand hitter waits. Yeah. Swing and a miss. No ball. Two strikes. Ah. And there's two down. Jonah Hahn stepping in for the Rangers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty to the plate. In the air, right center. This is matched way back and gone. Gigantic blast. His first homer of the year, and that gives him a lead. It's 2-1. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. So two away with nobody on. Now here is Josh Smith. That's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Out to short, Pena. Sends it to first. And that's the third out. Texas plates two on the homer. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. On to the third inning. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary Come stuff. On. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. The wind of the pitch. 
Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Reached on an infield single his first time. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. The Strohs down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Kicks and fires. And a count one and two. And a pitch. That oh. misses the zone. Two and two. Two, two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Altuve aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, Way God. inside. Calling this count runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Three, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Swung on, belted. Garcia ranging back. Banks off the wall. Altuve headed for the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. So now here's Kyle Tucker. Tucker, former fifth overall pick in the 2015 draft by the Astros. This guy's turned into a whale of a player. Runner at second. Nobody out. Just outside. off the outside edge. And that's ball one. Tucker hits for power. He's got 30 homer power. But the strikeout rate is oh. under 20%. That one finds the zone. One and two. That Thank one you. misses. And the count is even two and two. That's a little bit low. Full count. No outs. Runner on second. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. The third base of the team, Alex And now it's Alex Bregman. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. But Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick oh. outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Man at second. Oh, that one no. inside. And that's ball two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. It doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams Let's are go. really aggressively building their bullpens. second and Three it one. skips into there
Three and two now. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Say goodbye to that one. He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year. It's 4-2. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. One out, base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him, Yainer Diaz. That one at the knees for a strike. No ball, one strike. No. Up and in, and it's one and one. On the ground to third, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now bad. Number 20. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. One gone runner at first. And here's the first baseman. Ball. And ball one. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. That one fouled off. The pitch. That two, one not two. close. It's two and two. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Hi. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he hadn't seen that curveball at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a called third strike as a fastball, so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. And now, Chaz McCormick. And first offering is fouled off. Ball. That one no. missed. Two. Swing and a miss. As he one was ball. out front that Two time. Strikes. Diaz off of first with two away. Ah. And that's a strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball to knees. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Globe Lady Life Field Golden as Rangers. we go to the, the last of the third. And Bravo. now Travis Jankowski. Jankowski. The wind of the pitch. Well, after no, putting up a nice ball. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. 
Foul ball there. Right hander kicks deals. Thank you. Evidently not too impressed with that call, and it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner, so he's making his case. You've got to be careful to pick your spots in terms of showing your frustration with the umpire, and he felt this was his time. And that's outside. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Strikes one up, one down. Now, now back, back to the top of the lineup. Now Mark it's Marcus Marcus. Simeon. Worked a walk Simeon in his first there. trip to the plate. Close oh. one doesn't get the call. One and oh. That's Just missed. Righty delivers. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. The Astros up by two here in the last half of the third. And that's in the dirt. And there's ball, ball four. four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough defense? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. You know, Corey Seager would have been named the American League MVP in 2023 if it wasn't for some guy named Shohei Otani. Stepped out, shot a two-way player, but Seager did his best by putting together a full season with impressive numbers. And that one hammered. That's back. And that one's gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and it ties it up. It's 4-4. This game is breathing new life thanks to that home run, and that's exactly what they needed. Balls, especially away, are like putting the ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees. And he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. And next is the designated hitter, Wyatt Lankford. Ball and that's one. outside. And that's ball one. The one on. On the ground to the left. Foul and foul ball. Tied at four. In the air to left center. And it drops in. Now that right there three. landed in what they that's call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. Oh, Garcia no. stands in here, takes ball one low. Side edge, and it's two and zero. Swing and a tapper, and Garcia is out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Here's the left fielder, Evan Carter. He's all for one. And that one. 
one fouled off. Lankford on its second with two down. Next pitch misses. Ball one ball. One, one strike. The one one is fouled off. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Swing and a miss, and that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now tied 4-4. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in Arlington, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Jeremy Pena. pitch that one down the line boots it and he's gonna make it to first and we'll see how they score it oh that started and ended pretty quickly no messing around right there and now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases go ahead run on base and stepping in is the speedy Jake Myers base runner with a one-way lead right there all he's trying to do is get a look at the pitchers move had no intent of stealing on that pitch. There's a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Next yeah. offer is in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Kicks and deals. And that's the first out. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. He's already homered in this game. Kickoff move to first. Pena back easily. Altuve always seems to be setting records or reaching milestones, Boog. In 2023, he became the fastest player to reach 2,000 career hits, 200 home runs, and 200 stolen Whoa. bases in MLB history. Tied at four. That Ball misses. Two. two balls and a strike. You won. And the righty deals. All three. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. Chris with that distraction. Here goes the runner. Fouls one away and now three and two. At the belt and fires. On the ground. On to first. Out. And they get out to Bay for the out. The bat out. The designated hitter. Your down. Down the number two hitter. Your down Alvarez. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Man on second, two down. Pitch ball misses, two. ball two. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Carter makes the catch and that'll do it. They
They get a leadoff single, but leave him stranded. We're midway in the fourth, and we are tied 4-4. The Lone Star Series rolls on. Now, Jared Walsh. Walsh, in his fourth year, a career batting average over 300, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Thank you. One, two. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. And here it comes. Right back to him on the mound. Tosses to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup okay, earlier yeah, enough. Got out of front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. He's already homered here in this one. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch. And there's a ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. One down, base is empty. And it's strike one to the catcher. Two balls, one strike. Hard hit, left side. Bregman to first. Out. Already two gone here in the home four. Now have Next up for Texas, Josh Smith. Grounded out his first time up. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting Ball someone one. that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Two outs. And that one wrapped foul. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Fastball in for a strike. One and two. One what about a playing strikes. another position on defense? One that would require a little more range. Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. And yeah, the right hater deals. That Look one out. misses. Counts full three and two. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Rangers go down quickly there. This game's all tied at four. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Cody Bradford. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The right fielder. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Swing it a foul straight back. Tucker, who's been an all-star and a gold glover. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The lefty fires. And that's off the inside edge. Two and two. Would he chase that time. Tied at four. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Going gone! 
He'll circle the bases. Third home run of the season. And it gives him the lead in the fifth. It's 5-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. Here's Alex Bregman. One for two. Ball Just one. missed. One oh. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. is in the dirt and it's two and one movement in the bullpen John Gray the veteran right hander appears to be loosening up Haney getting loose as well and a pitch and Three another ball, ball. One strike. bounced out to short Tosses the first one away here in the fifth. Impressive backhand stop, but he had a little trouble getting rid of it and had to take that extra step, which could have cost him. But good job to make sure he got a good handle on it and he got off a good, strong throw to still get the out. Here's the catcher, Yaner Diaz. No, and that one just ball. misses a ball and no strikes. One out, base is empty. There's a strike. The one one is fouled off. And he deals. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Ow. Two Ow. away now after the drop third strike. Number 28. And now the first baseman who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That ball. misses the zone. And that is ball one. There's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. to hit for Houston Chaz McCormick swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field Carter makes the catch inning over Astros not your run on the solo homer and the home team down a run Major League Baseball is on the show And we're back. Lady Bottom Gale. of the Lady inning. Lady Here's the center fielder, no, Travis Jankowski. He's someone that you might not Lady describe Lady. as having an elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. In there at the knees. Going along. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, 
they make moves on the base paths. The line of the pitch. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, man. You know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And a foul ball. The Strohs up by a run. Last half of inning number five. Rip to third. Bregman to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Shortstop. Corey Seager. So now it's Corey Seager. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for oh, no. him and for his team. Just off the outside edge. Ball three. Gets the outside corner with that one. Reward. On the inside corner for a stroke. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it. Ah, Swing woo. and a miss, and he struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. And the Rangers set down in order. They trail it 5-4. to kick the pitch. Tap yeah. of the zone, and it's called a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Makes the catch for the out. The bat -bat. The Jake, Jake Myers, Myers up next for the Astros. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That clips the zone. Strike one. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. That's the third, and Good that's foul. just foul. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Wouldn't one, chase two. that time. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct Ball, on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. And the pitch. That one ripped. And it's into the gap. And that's going to roll to the wall. And into second with one away. That's a double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. Jose Altuve up to it here. Oh, and that's a little bit high. And the 1-0. Slap the other way. Foul. Oh, 
and a pitch. Ball. And another ball. Two ball. Two Runner at second here, one gone. Bounced up the middle. Simeon slings to first, out. and they get Altuve for the out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. So now the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Wouldn't chase that time. Breaking ball inside. And now 2-0. Myers on third with two out. Ball. Next pitch is inside, and now 3 0. Kyle Tucker would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And a four pitch walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. It was a homer for him back in the fifth. Just a solo shot, but an important swing in this game. Yeah, and it was a beautiful swing as well. Everything just came together timing-wise, and he blasted it out of here. First offering, and it just misses. Corners are occupied with two down. Upstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. And that clips the inside corner. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Runners on first and third, two away. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Out there to center. Sizes this one up. Pulls it in to end the inning. Two left for the Astros. They lead it 5 4. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Hunter Brown. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. And now the DH, Wyatt Langford. The designated hitter. The line to the pitch. And that one fouled off. Right-handed reliever. And one that's one. downstairs and outside. Activity one one. in the bullpen for Houston. From Valdez, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. Righty to the plate. And it stays fair! Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. That Ball. misses. Ball one. The pitch. Out front and foul to the left side.
Rips one to right. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Put a great now swing on that ball. Took the ball right to it. Nice yeah. extension as well. 105 oh. exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. First and second. No outs. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. Oh. And ball one. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Popped up on the infield fly rule field call. Fly. Batters out. The first base number 21. Jerry. On the mound now, Robert Valdez. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters gonna have to pick it up early if they're gonna have any chance. Jared Walsh stepping in for the Rangers. it has been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. McCormick going back on this one. Slams into the wall and hangs on. Excellent play out there, and he does it in a huge <laughs> spot. That <laughs> wall, it can very easily jar the ball loose when you bang into it, so that could have been a really different outcome. Now the catcher up to hit, Jonah Heim. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. No more, more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on this approach. And now the lefty waves at the bender for the strikeout. Rangers leave a pair. Still down a run. It's five to four. Back at Globe Life Field. Now it's Alex Bregman. Number two. The pitch. That oh. one off the mark. One and oh. And there's a foul ball. The one one. No, and that's outside. outside. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very Ball important three. to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. And a 3-1 on the way. And yeah, there's the strike. Look out. Oh, Sets him down you. looking. Throws him with a backdoor slider. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. Now he gets that. just that, enough that. of it to get yeah, the call. Yeah. And tell you what, yeah. as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. Diaz. Yeah. Now in the box. Oh, yeah. Comes up empty with a swing there. Big swing and a miss. 
especially in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. That's the ball. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball. Base is empty Two one left. away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Chases that one out of the zone, and there's two away. And here's the first baseman, one for three. First pitch misses. One ball, no strike. That clips the corner. Two down, nobody on. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, we've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back in Arlington, here's the third baseman, Josh Smith. Valdez, in his fifth season, 30 years old now, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Downstairs. Man, oh One man, ball. I don't know Two how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And Two that's down it away. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Jankowski up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Here comes a pitch. Not close with that one. Two and oh. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at two and oh. Trying to hold a one run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. That's in there, and the count's even at two. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here is Marcus Simeon. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Kicks and deals. Roll to short. Possible two ball. Whips it across. And Simeon is out. 
That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Seager. Seager stands in down. You have to be careful throwing and breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. On the ground, right side. Altuve handles it in plenty of time to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. John Gray. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. The pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. That one finds the zone, and the count is 0-2. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Brock Burke appears to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. The wind and the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Pitches downstairs. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. In the air to left, down the line. Carter makes the grab, one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Fought off foul. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss. Gonna count one and two. One, two. Righty delivers. Got it. Oh, two. Okay. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Ball. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. One ball, Clearly two was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing there for Houston as they hold on to a 5-4 lead. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Miguel Diaz. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And here it comes. 
length. Swings through it for strike one. Activity in the bullpen. Josh Hader up and throwing. Kicks and fires. One one. Pitch misses there, and a count to a one. Well, he's been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats, and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Next one is off the floor. They're now three balls and a strike. Adolis Garcia to bat next. Next pitch in for a strike. Three and two down. Okay. Caught him looking for the K. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth yeah, inning. Right. Down right. Like any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Now the batter down. Adolis Garcia. First pitch oh, yeah. just misses. Yeah, the right hander deals. Inside. Two will count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. No. And misses the zone. And that's ball three. Evan Carter waits on deck. back our way and that's out of play three one is on the way and he walked okay. it okay. well you know this guy wants to swing it but he's showing some good oh, patience in this one it's the second time he's taken oh, back four. substitution now at first oh, base oh, oh, oh. here's the pinch runner for Texas Ezekiel Duran one down, runner at first. Evan Carter getting ready to hit. First ball for a strike, and it's 0-1. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. No. And that's outside. And now it's even one and one. Oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Okay. And a good eye there. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swings through that one for strike two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Hit on the ground might be two. There's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Astros five and the Rangers four. So coming into the game now on defense, Ezekiel Duran. He takes over and right. So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Andrew Heaney. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. So the lineup flips over. Jose Altuve digs in now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. As the lefty gets to work. Right through there for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tall for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. 
and he'll one. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's long gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. So now here's the DH. You're Don Alvarez. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one. Nobody on, nobody out. Here at the top of the ninth. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. Battling here as he fouls it away. And they'll do it again. Here's a one two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Bounce to the left side, and it goes just foul. Good battle here. In the air out to center. Jankowski makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting, right and right next to hit for Houston, Kyle, Kyle Tucker. Tucker. He swings and fouls one off. This to third, Smith gathers He's and out. throws to first and Tucker is retired the third base is number two Alex Bregman and here now is the Astros cleanup hitter Alex Bregman his two run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one yeah there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now Just missed. And a pitch. That ah. one's in there. And a count even at one. <laughs> On the ground, right side, Simeon. Gets it to first, out. and they get Bregman for the out. And the inning is over. One more for the Astros, and it comes on this solo homer. It's now a 6-4 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Josh Hader. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. And now the first Lee baseman, go. Jared Walsh, 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally no, when you're chasing two runs instead of one. One ball, no strike. At the belt and fires. 
Just no. missed. And a pitch. And a foul ball. The 2 2 on the way. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Ground ball to first ball. and foul ball. And he deals on the ground to third. Bragman to first. Wow. Walsh retired. Now, now catcher. Jonah. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Swing and a miss, strike one. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Swings through that one. When you have a catcher that Go can throw ball. like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Breaking ball, and that got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Up next for the Rangers, Josh Smith. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. a strike with the tying run at the plate here the last half of inning number nine next Hold pitch on. is outside really great change of speeds he goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next The tying run at the plate. Bows it off, still one and two. And the pitch. That's off up. the mark Ball there. Pitch. And it's two and two. It's a good take. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. That's out number two. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Last chance now for the Rangers. Travis Jankowski will hit next. Ball one, no strikes. up Pena drifts towards it ball game France with his first major league win yeah nicely done I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should the start he won't ever forget and this one ends with a final score of six to four for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB the show thanks for stopping by I'm John Chambi Talk to you soon.
Vandar, final 